North Korea developing weapons of mass destruction, which, to be honest, is very concerning. Is it concerning as something we should really, really be worrying about? Well, really not so much. I would be more concerned with countries such as Iran. However, North Korea still does pose some potential threat, and it's very interesting to see how us as Western worlds and even other countries of the Asian continent are trying to decipher the best way to deal with this North Korean threat. Quote. Now, there are many different variants of anti-ballistic missile defense systems out there, and some of them are very impressive, but one of which has really come onto the spotlight of the media lately is the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense Weapon System, otherwise known as THAAD, from the United States of America. Now, first of all, I just want to give you a quick overview of what this system's about with this really interesting little video here. It was actually made by the developer of this particular weapon system, and we're going to have a quick read through it and a watch through it, and then we're going to discuss a little bit more about it afterwards. So enjoy. The ballistic missile threat is real, complex, and increasingly sophisticated. Meeting that threat requires a defensive capability that is equally sophisticated. A defense that can protect critical assets whenever and wherever they're threatened. The THAAD weapon system is a key element in our layered ballistic missile defense architecture. Filling the gap at the mid to high endo-atmospheric regions, not covered by the lower tier Patriot Pack 3 or the upper tier Aegis SM3 class. THAAD extended range, a low risk spiral development of the baseline THAAD system that will help pace emerging threats while lowering the overall cost for regional defense. Fully integrated with existing THAAD batteries, the THAAD ER variant employs a new two-stage booster that will dramatically increase the system's range of flexibility. THAAD ER enhancements represent a significant improvement in our ability to fill the gaps in deployed coverage and defend critical resources. To protect population centers, key infrastructure, and deployed forces, defenders strategically position missile defense assets across a region. With THAAD ER interceptors emplaced as a second option, THAAD ER can significantly lower the cost of missile defense by reducing the number of batteries needed to protect large regions. THAAD ER's extended battle space increases warfighters options on multiple levels. It takes full advantage of the deployed THAAD radar's range, allowing threat engagements to occur much earlier in the timeline. This long-range engagement means the system can defeat longer-range threats and at greater distances, with intercept debris falling far from defended areas. And it allows for a flexible response to larger raid sizes, enabling a more efficient firing doctrine and more effective shoot-look-shoot -shoot engagements. THAAD ER's second stage greatly enhances its divert capability. This increases its agility and permits options such as mid-flight retasking of interceptor targets. And because it can operate at lower altitudes, ER takes advantage of atmospheric strip-out to enhance target discrimination. The THAAD ER variant leverages the existing baseline system and can significantly expand our missile defense capabilities. So guys, this is serious stuff. Now, we can all almost guarantee that this is never going to happen. Nuclear weapons are never going to get used because we all know the standard stalemate scenario of if you use your weapons, I use mine, it's the end of the world scenario. 
But the scary part of North Korea is I don't really believe that they have the common sense or logic to know potentially what they may do, will do those things. That is scary stuff. Now, as always, I don't go into politics and I want to talk more about the weapon system itself, but it really does reiterate the point of crazy people can do crazy things and let's just hope they never do. And let's hope that we never have to use these weapon systems, but if we do, it seems like this one is definitely going to protect many, many people's lives if it comes down to it. So let's talk a little bit about it right now. So, the THAAD, otherwise known as the Terminal, formerly Theater, High Altitude Area Defense Missile System is an easily transportable defensive system to protect against hostile incoming targets such as tactical and theater ballistic missiles at ranges of up to 200 kilometers and altitudes up to 150 kilometers. The third system provides a upper tier of a layered defensive shield to protect high value strategic or tactical sites such as airfields, population centers, and other military assets. The third missile intercepts with a exo-atmospheric and endo-atmospheric threats. The sites would be protected with lower and medium tier defensive shield systems such as the beautiful Patriot Pac-3 weapon system, which intercepts hostile incoming missiles at 20 to 100 times lower altitudes. The US Army is expected to acquire 80 to 99 launchers and 18 ground-based radars to a total of 1,422 THAAD missiles. Two THAAD battalions are planned, each with four batteries. In 1992, Lockheed Martin Missiles and Space and other industrial team partners were awarded a $689 million contract to develop the THAAD system. Raytheon was selected as a subcontractor to develop the ground-based radar. The THAAD battery typically operates nine launch vehicles, each carrying eight missiles, with two mobile tactical operations centers, or TOCs, and a ground-based radar system. The target object data and the predicted intercept point are downloaded to the missile prior to launch. The updated target and intercept data are also transmitted to the missile in flight. The missile is 6.17 meters in length and is equipped with a single stage solid fuel rocket motor with thrust vectoring. The rocket motor is supplied by Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne and the launch weight is roughly around 900 kilograms. A separation motor is installed at the interstage on the forward booster section and the separation motor assists in separation of the kinetic kill vehicle or KKV and the spent boost motor. The shroud separates from the KV before impact and the KV is equipped with a liquid fuel divert and altitude control system or the DAX, developed again by Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne for the terminal maneuvering towards the target intercept point. A gimbal mounted infrared seeker module in the nose section provides a terminal homing to close in on the target missile in the terminal phase of approach. During the initial flyout phase of the flight, the seeker window is covered with a two-piece clamshell protection shroud. During the first seconds after being launched, the missile spectacularly rotates spirally and then goes in to meet the enemy target. Many people have said the reason for this rotation is that the missile is seeking for its target in this matter, but it is a huge error. The rotating spiral is actually gaining the missile's kinetic energy, which is absolutely necessary to hit the target because this weapon system does not have a warhead inside of it. Because of its small size, the Patriot launchers can actually carry about 16 of these THAAD interceptor missiles. The THAAD launcher is based on an Oshkosh M1120 LHS heavy high mobility truck. Each vehicle carries 8 missiles, and the M1120 truck is designed for off-road applications. The vehicle is powered by a Detroit Diesel 8V29 turbocharged diesel engine developing 450 horsepower. It has a full-time, all-wheel drive, and central tire pressure system allowing it to pretty much go anywhere off-roading. So there you go guys, the THAAD system. Really nothing too much to get your panties in a twist about. I mean, it's very similar to the Patriot system, although these weapon systems are specifically designed to engage strategic missiles. Whereas Patriot systems are designed to engage cruise missiles, aircraft, uh, all sorts of assets, where this, you know, weapons platform is really focused on the strategic and potential nuclear uh, missiles that could be coming into allies around the world. And it's nice to see these things are being placed into a strategic location to defend against these crazy lunatics in North Korea. Now, China has pretty much opposed the deployment of this system, seeing the system as a threat to its military capabilities. 
The missile system is also facing criticism from South Koreans worried about Chinese economic retaliation as well as some environmental and safety concerns. And now that South Korea's president has been impeached, Thad's future could be in jeopardy. Honestly guys, I think it's a little ridiculous um, that, that China's getting their panties in to twist so much about this weapon system. I kind of understand, yes, the radar systems are scanning into the airspace and all that sort of stuff, but if you've got nothing to hide and you're not causing any drama, I really don't see what the problem is. This weapon system clearly is very, very good at being able to engage um, targets. There's been a lot of experimentation, a lot of testing of this system. The radar created by Raytheon is very effective at being able to find those targets and scan for them. It just seems like something that I want to have on my side, and to be honest, I'm proud to have it um, working alongside our NATO allies and allies who are part of um, our friendship as, as countries around the world. So, Thad... Thank you, and the people who developed that, thank you, because you make me sleep better at night knowing that if anything does go crazy and hit the fucking pan, then we can actually defend ourselves from these...